Right now, even as a winter storm approaches, an important ice fishing reminder that the time to bring in shanties for the season is drawing near. Plus, as aftershocks again rattle the residents of Turkey today, Madison's Turkish community continues to bolster the recovery effort half a world away. And an update on the health of former Wisconsin Governor Tony Earle tonight. News delivered by current Governor Evers today. It's all ahead on News 3 Now at 10. Thanks for joining us tonight. Before we get to those stories, we're in for a busy week in the weather department. Well, we certainly are. Tuesday night, Wednesday, and Thursday are all first warn alert weather days. Here's a quick look at what we are expecting. Accumulating snowfall on several occasions and freezing rain, which could lead to some pretty dangerous situations on the roads. And it all comes down to where you live. Well, let's head to the backyard patio. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti now in our first warn forecast. Gary? Yeah, the winds have picked up right now. We've had a cold front come through, and that'll lead to colder weather for tomorrow and that will make us cold enough for snow and freezing rain from tomorrow night into Wednesday and Thursday. Let's start out by taking a look at the first worn weather alert days that are in the forecast. This is from Tuesday night into uh, Wednesday and Thursday. So snow Tuesday night mainly north of Madison and then snow uh, developing elsewhere mixing with free, uh, freezing rain and sleet Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday night uh, winding down as snow on Thursday morning. The best chances for heavy snow will be north of the Dells. The best chances for heavy icing accumulations will be south of Dane County. Madison, Dane County, and areas in between will see some of both. Uh, some snow accumulation as well as ice accumulation. Uh, so just a, a nasty storm. Uh, already winter storm watch has been issued north of the Dells and just issued now for our western uh, viewing area from noon Wednesday until 6 p.m. Thursday. Uh, again, uh, we're, we're going to see more watches uh, coming out, I'm sure, as well as warnings and advisories in the coming days. High temperatures today, mild. 42 in Madison, 46 in Janesville, 45 in Lone Rock, and 48 in Boscobel. Now temperatures have dropped into the upper 30s. They're already down around freezing just north and west of La Crosse, but Dane County still in the upper 30s. Uh, 39 right now in Verona, 39 in McFarland, and 39 in Oregon. But by tomorrow morning, the skies turn partly cloudy. Temperatures will drop to around 18 degrees. So that'll give us a head start on having a colder day for tomorrow. But like I say, I'm going to talk more about that winter storm and kind of break it down on the timing and the amounts of precipitation expected in just a few minutes. Gary, thank you. And with the weather expected to dominate the headlines this week, a great way to stay up to date is with our Channel 3000 First Warn Weather app. It is free. It's available right now in your app store. Despite the winter weather headed our way, the deadline to remove permanent ice shanties is quickly approaching. Any shanties near the Iowa-Wisconsin state line needed to be taken down by today. Locally, though, there's still about two weeks before inland lake shanties need to be removed. Ahead of that deadline, our McKenna Alexander headed to Lake Monona today to speak with ice fishers about the season that's quickly coming to an end. Here on Monona Bay, only one pop-up ice shanty remains, which is good because soon across the state, all permanent ice shanties will need to be removed. Because ice fishing season is drawing to a close, Monday afternoon, the ice on Monona Bay was packed with people looking to dip their line before it gets too warm to do so. One of those braving the cold was Samuel Godfrey, who's been making the most of his first ice fishing season. I really got into open water fishing this year, and I was like, well... I don't have as much gear, but my grandpa was like, here, I, I have some old gear, so you can take your turn at it and <laughs> see how you like it. And, and you like it so far? Too much. <laughs> <laughs> and all that time spent in this shanty has paid off. I was really happy about it. For friends at Jack Crackman and Owen Mitchell, they've been out on the ice using underwater cameras to find the best catch. We've gone out a couple times, but I mean, it's good. It's good. It's my first season where I've been like more dedicated. But all good things must come to an end. And as this sun continues to heat the ice on Lake Monona, these fishermen are preparing to close out the season safely. We don't like risking it with anything close to thin, so it's usually been above seven inches, I'd say. The ice has been super sloppy every now and then. It's still safe ice at the moment. and. As long as it's safe ice, I'll be out here. To see a list of all the dates that ice shanties need to be removed across the state of Wisconsin, just visit the DNR's website. At Monona Bay for News 3 Now, I'm McKenna Alexander. And with tomorrow being spring primary election day in Wisconsin, it may be helpful to get to the polls a little earlier than normal to avoid any potential storms. The polls open at 7 a.m. and they close at 8 p.m. You can find everything you need to know about tomorrow's election on channel3000.com. Look for our campaign 2023 section on the homepage. We've compiled all the races we're following as well as everything you need to know to make your choice at the polls, including 
all of the interviews we've done with Madison's mayoral candidates leading up to Election Day. Next at 10, developing in Beloit, an active homicide investigation after a woman was found shot to death this morning. She was found on Porter Avenue just before 9 and died at the scene. So far, details are very limited, including anything about a potential suspect. It's unclear what led to the shooting, but police say there is no threat to the community. In Oregon, a former community pool employee is now facing criminal charges related to alleged sexual contact. In a message to families, the school district says it is working with police in the case, but has not named that employee or released further details regarding the investigation, citing student privacy laws. And a Diocese of Madison Pastoral Associate has pleaded guilty to child enticement. 31-year-old Rajnell Raymont is accused of having sexual contact with a teen. The diocese put Raymont on administrative leave in November after learning of the accusations. He'll be back in court for sentencing in April. A man died after being hit by a train in Watertown last week. It happened Friday night, but police just confirmed this today. They say the crash, and, crash happened around 630 near West Main and Hiawatha streets. The police chief says while an investigation into the incident is still ongoing, there was no indication of criminal activity. Around Wisconsin, this was the scene outside a Racine hospital this morning after a deputy shot a patient. The series of events began Saturday when a man intentionally set fire to his bedroom. Officers took him to the hospital in Racine where he was admitted on an unrelated health issue. Then early this morning he allegedly attacked the deputy assigned to guard him. That officer ended up shooting him. The injury is not considered life-threatening. Michigan State University students urging state lawmakers to pass gun reform as soon as possible. It follows last week's mass shooting at the university when a gunman killed three students and critically injured five others. Instead of returning to class today, more than a thousand students gathered outside of the state capitol building in Lansing to demand reform. Overseas, a 6.3 magnitude aftershock struck southern Turkey today killing at least three people, injuring hundreds more. It comes two weeks after the massive earthquake killed tens of thousands of people in that region. Officials have been urging the public to stay away from buildings as those aftershocks continue. And this is a very difficult thing for the Turkish community in Madison to watch happen to their country. But as Arman Rahman shows us, they're finding solutions even from afar. Eric and Charlotte, today's big aftershock injured and trapped hundreds more in parts of Syria and Turkey, where more than a half a million people, a million and a half people, are already in temporary shelters from the first earthquake. So, in addition to authentic food, Istanbul Market is offering a way for all of us to help. For the last 12 years, the Turkish community in Madison has found a piece of home at Istanbul Market on the west side. Turkish food, uh, bakery, Turkish bakeries, and make pizzas, and kebabs. But in the past two weeks, owner Yashar Tayrov has been offering a chance for us to give back to Turkey. Everybody, everybody who hear about this problem, they everybody call me. Uh, how can help you? And they, everybody see bucks, how, how much they can, they always put to the native. At the counter, he's been collecting donations for earthquake victims in Syria, Lebanon, and Turkey. You think it like you stay over there, like your family over there, you know? Immediately after the 7.8 magnitude quake, he helped UW's Madison Association of Turkish Students collect and send supplies, but he found he could do more. And people start calling me, we only know you, Turkish, so. We trust you, and uh, can you collect money and send? Him and his employees' loved ones were not directly affected by the earthquake, but that doesn't make it any easier to see their homeland reduced to rubble. You're busy working, you don't think too much. When you start thinking, I watch news, and you start thinking, it's very hard. But Taidov says a little bit of hope shines through the cracks when he sees the willingness of the whole Madison community to help. Say, India, America, any country, from Iran, from Pakistan, everybody asking how we can help you. A lot of people, good people in the world, you know. And Taidov says donations are the best way to help right now because victims need money as they begin rebuilding. He gave me some more links to do that. We'll have that up on channel3000.com. Norman, thank you. A Louisiana teen is dead after a shooting along a Mardi Gras parade route last night in New Orleans. Police say a suspect is in custody, but that individual has not been identified. A young girl, as well as three others, were also hurt. They were treated at a local hospital and released. The motive for that shooting remains unclear. Prosecutors in New Mexico have downgraded the manslaughter 
charges against Alec Baldwin in the Rust shooting. The move reduces the amount of prison time he could face if convicted by a minimum of five years. Last month, Baldwin's attorneys filed a motion to have the firearm enhancement charge dropped. President Biden rode 10 hours by train from the Polish border for an unannounced visit to Kyiv today. He met with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and spoke in the war-torn capital, vowing unwavering commitment in U.S. support of Ukraine as it defends against Russia's invasion. The president spent more than five hours in the Ukrainian capital to talk about the next steps in the war, including newly announced plans to send Ukraine nearly half a billion dollars in additional U.S. military equipment. I thought it was critical that there would not be any doubt, none whatsoever, about U.S. support. Ukraine. Thank you for your leadership. Thanks, bipartisan support. Thanks, Congress. The two leaders took time to honor Ukraine's fallen soldiers. At one point during the tour, air raid sirens sounded, giving President Biden a sense of what Ukrainians endure every day across their war-torn country. Biden's visit comes one day ahead of a planned speech by Russian President Vladimir Putin. Tomorrow, he will deliver his annual address to the Federal Assembly, a joint meeting of Russia's two houses of parliament. It will mark almost one year since his invasion of Ukraine, which began on January 24th of last year. Japan's defense ministry says North Korea launched two ballistic missiles from its west coast this morning. They're saying they're still analyzing the data, but believe the missiles fell just outside Japan's exclusive economic zone. Developing tonight, former Wisconsin Governor Tony Earle said to be seriously ill. Current Governor Tony Evers making the announcement today while speaking with Eau Claire TV stations. Tony Earle is 86 years old, and these photos of Earle with his wife were uh, taken not a uh, few, few years ago during a story. He shot with us at News 3 Now. He was governor of Wisconsin from 1983 until 1987 and also served as Wisconsin's DNR secretary and also as a member of the state assembly. And this President's Day, many people are sharing their thoughts and prayers for the nation's 39th commander-in-chief, Jimmy Carter. He's receiving hospice care at his home in Plains, Georgia. At the Jimmy Carter National Historical Park today, which is the former president's high school, there was a high volume of visitors paying their respects. Still ahead tonight, Gary Canalti will have a detailed breakdown of this week's winter storm. But first, we'll tell you about a new addition being made underneath one of the most visited national monuments. That's just ahead. Welcome to Oakmont Senior Community in Verona. Active seniors 55 plus will enjoy our new luxury apartments professionally managed by award-winning Attic Angel Community. Call Demery today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. Oh, the weather. What's the chance of rain tomorrow? Ooh, 80%. I make it rain. I make it rain. Speaking of making it rain, at Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison, we have an average 95% payout, which leads you to more chances of playing longer and more chances to win big. Play longer, win more, chances are you're gonna like it. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. You can't buy happiness, but you can buy an RV at Wisconsin RV World, and that's pretty darn close. Find your happiness during their RV Super Sale this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday only. Save over $30,000 on this new Heartland fifth wheel. Get this Keystone Springdale for as low as $185 a month, or this Cruiser Radiance for only $240 a month. Plus, get a one-year no-charge camping pass with every RV purchase. Wisconsin RV World. If it doesn't say Wisconsin, it's just another RV dealer. After violence turned Waukesha's Christmas parade into tragedy, Judge Jennifer Doro ensured justice was served, maintaining order, protecting the rights of victims. Her grace under fire won praise nationally. Now Judge Jennifer Doro is ready to serve on the Supreme Court. Wife, mother, prosecutor. Judge Doro's life's work is keeping Wisconsin families safe. It's no surprise Judge Doro is law enforcement's choice. The tested judicial leader, Judge Jennifer Doro for Supreme Court. Welcome to Oakmont Senior Community in Verona. 
Active Seniors 55 Plus will enjoy our new luxury apartments, professionally managed by award-winning Attic Angel Community. Call Demery today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. We're celebrating Fat Tuesday in the 608 with a gooey Polish tradition. Tomorrow I'll be live at Lane's Bakery with the taste and tell on Poonski. And a winter storm will bring us some snow and ice. We'll track it tomorrow between 4.30 and 7. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Welcome back. The local nonprofit Ascendium donating $2.5 million to the Black Business Hub being built on Madison's South Side. Organizers say the hub is designed to empower and equip small business owners of color and aspiring entrepreneurs with much needed access to financial resources, business planning, and coaching. The National Park Service is set to build a new addition underneath the Lincoln Memorial. It's to pay tribute to the monument's civil rights history. It'll feature exhibits and presentations highlighting the history of the monument as a backdrop for civil rights demonstrations. The $69 million project was first announced in 2016. It'll add 15,000 square feet of exhibits, which will display the foundation underneath the Lincoln Memorial. We see uh, almost 8 million people a year come to Lincoln Memorial, makes it one of the most visited of all of the national park sites, and it will remain open throughout the construction. And that construction is scheduled to start next month. It'll be complete in 2026, ahead of the 250th anniversary of the signing of the Declaration of Independence. More than 300,000 Starbucks vanilla frappuccino bottles are being recalled because they might contain glass. The drinks are 13.7 ounce vanilla frappuccinos with the expiration dates of March 8th, May 29th, June 4th, and 10th. The distributor PepsiCo has issued the warning to retailers and consumers. The FDA says the recall began on January 28th and is ongoing. Meta wants you to pay to get verified. Yesterday, the parent company for Facebook and Instagram announced that it is testing a subscription service that will allow users to get a check by their name. The service will cost anywhere from $12 to $15 per month. Signing up comes with perks, including extra protection from impersonation accounts and direct access to customer support. And new tonight, Netflix is doing away with its Surprise Me feature. A spokesperson for the streaming giant says the company discontinued it last month simply because people weren't using it that much. The feature was introduced in 2021 under the assumption that users were feeling choice fatigue among the site's many offerings. Well, Gary, I'd say surprise me with the weather, maybe some sunshine, some warm weather, but that's not you happening. You don't even have to go to Netflix to find that. Yeah, this is a horror movie all by oh, itself, wow. I think. Well, let's, let's try to break this all down for you. First, let's start with three things you need to know about this developing winter storm. First of all, the precipitation will start out probably as uh, snow uh, north of Madison as we head into uh, uh, Tuesday night. So the areas north of Madison and especially north of Dane County, we'll see uh, some snow there. Uh, but snow will develop south of Madison and then quickly change over to some sleet and freezing rain. Uh, this is during the day on Wednesday into uh, Wednesday night and perhaps early morning Thursday before changing back to some snow. The freezing rain threat is highest south of Madison. That's where we could see up to a half inch of ice accumulation from Wednesday afternoon through Wednesday night. And it also will be windy. We could see some wind gusts over 40 to 45 miles per hour during the day Wednesday into Wednesday night. If we get that heavy ice accumulation, that could cause power outages by the heavy ice accumulations on uh, power lines uh, swinging around in the wind. So we do have the, uh, the first warm weather alert days in the forecast from Tuesday night all the way through Thursday. We put these in actually Saturday morning. That's how far out in advance we knew that there was going to be a winter storm. Now it's a question of getting down to all the details. And again, the heavy threat, a uh, heavy snow threat is highest, especially up toward the Dells and north. Now the first round of snow for tomorrow night, bringing perhaps as much as four to five inches of snow up in Juneau and Adams counties, maybe six or a little bit more inches out toward La Crosse. But notice south of Madison, very little in the way of accumulating snow. Madison, probably around an inch or less. But the ice accumulation, this is from Wednesday afternoon through Wednesday night, perhaps a third to maybe a half inch of ice accumulation down toward the Illinois state line, maybe a couple of tents in Dane County, and then the farther north you go, the transition to snow takes place, so you have less in the way of ice and more in the way of snow. Now you add up all the snow together from tomorrow night as well as Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday night into Thursday morning. We could be looking at over a foot of snow uh, north of the Dell, especially up toward Camp Douglas and Friendship, uh, maybe 15 inches or more north and west of La Crosse. Down to the south, uh, Madison, Dane County, three to six inch range, but that's highly variable. More ice, 
less snow, more snow, more, uh, more, more ice, uh, less snow and, and vice versa. But to the south, where it's more likely to be ice, the snow amounts will be a little bit less there. But again, this is just going to be a nasty storm system that really brings the uh, potential for widespread travel issues. So winter storm watch is in effect north of uh, the Dells. Uh, this from 6 p.m. and uh, tomorrow until uh, 6 a.m. on Wednesday morning. And then again from noon on Wednesday until 6 p.m. Thursday. So that's for this area. To the east, Marquette and Green Lake counties, 3 p.m. Wednesday until 6 a.m. on Thursday, or 6 p.m. on Thursday. And now southwestern Wisconsin winter storm watch from noon Wednesday until 6 p.m. Thursday. Look for a dry day for most of the day tomorrow. We'll start out with some sunshine in the morning, turn cloudy in the afternoon, snow developing north and west of Madison late in the day with a high of, of 31. And as you look at the uh, uh, first warm 7 to 10 day forecast, you can see that wintry mix of precipitation with the alert days for Wednesday and Thursday. Then we turn cold for Friday. Highs only in the teens. As we get into next weekend, uh, we'll see temperatures uh, back up into the lower to middle 30s. A weather system on Monday brings some snow, maybe mix a little rain in the afternoon. And then another weather system brings some snow maybe mix with a little rain in the afternoon on Wednesday so the storms are just kind of lined up one right after another and coming up in sports Kings of the Rock Valley how McFarland took down Turner to claim the conference title that's next on News 3 Now News 3 Now first warm weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy home furnishings and decor Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. At Stanton Optical, independent eye doctors are available for eye exams whenever you need one. You should have seen me before I got mine. You're so quiet. Are you mad at me? Book your free same-day eye exam at Stanton Optical today. Like, yeah. The stylish Chevy Equinox RS like, uh, and Chevy Blazer RS. So you don't have to be an influencer to be an influencer. The, the RS family of Chevy SUVs, definitely worth a follow. Well-qualified buyers get 2.99% financing on all Equinox models or get $1,000 cash allowance on all 2023 Equinox models. Plus, current Chevy owners get an additional $750 cash allowance. As a veteran of our country's armed services, you have already made the ultimate sacrifice. Why should you have to continue to do that? Through no fault of your own, you may be experiencing hardships, such as the inability to pay rent, utilities, or receive other life-sustaining services. And once again, you're called upon by your family to serve and protect. We want you to know we are here to support you. The Veterans Rental Assistance Program was created by and for people living in Wisconsin, with benefit approvals being issued to veterans in just days, not months. It's not easy to ask for a hand up, but we are clear in our mission. No Wisconsin veteran should ever have to face homelessness or lose heat, power, or water again. 833 W-I-S-V-R-A-P. That's 833-947-8727. Madison liberals are trying to take over the Wisconsin Supreme Court. That's why we need to elect conservative justice Dan Kelly. Dan Kelly has a proven record of protecting our freedoms and cast the deciding vote to end the COVID lockdowns of our schools and businesses. Sheriffs across Wisconsin have endorsed Dan Kelly because he has a record of enforcing the law. On February 21st, vote conservative justice Dan Kelly for Wisconsin Supreme Court. Fair Courts America paid for and is responsible for the content of this advertising. Do you have an idea for an invention, but you don't know what to do next? Call InventHelp. They've been helping inventors for 35 years. Call today for free information. Call 800-550-5543. Don't delay, the Brothers Main President's Day sale is happening now. Shop local and save with tremendous deals on Whirlpool, KitchenAid, Maytag, and Amana appliances. We have the area's largest selection and the lowest prices guaranteed. Feel like family. Brothers Main. Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. We do the math, people. For $79, you get all this. That costs over $400 at Lens Crafters, over $200 at Walmart, and over $150 at America's Best. When it comes to value, Stanton Optical is the top bird.
It appears Jim Leonard won't be taking a year off from coaching, or at least he doesn't want to. The former Badger DC interviewed with the Eagles for their defensive coordinator opening. And remember, not the first time the NFL has come calling. Back in 2021, he turned down the Packers DC position to stay at Wisconsin. Leonard played 10 seasons in the NFL before returning to Madison. Tuesday against Michigan, Connor Asijan could not miss. The Badger sharpshooter dropped a career-high 23 points in UW's win. Saturday, well, he couldn't buy a bucket. Asijan went 0 for 7 from 3 and 0 for 10 from the floor, including missing two chances to win the game. Now, normally, Greg Gard would say something to a freshman after a performance like that, but he didn't have to because Asijan was already thinking about his next made basket. Every elite shooter is going to have one of those days. Um, you're just, if you're doing this long enough, you're not going to avoid one of those. And the key is to have a short memory, you know, and, and he right away said, yep, I, I understand it. I'm good. Next one's in. The basketball guys are humbling you right there. That's what that is. Um, so, I mean, really, you know, I mean, it doesn't happen too often, but, you know, it's a great learning experience for me to be able to move on quickly. Speaking of in, Joe Lenardi has the Badgers as one of the last four teams in the NCAA tournament in his latest bracketology. Wisconsin has two big opportunities this week to boost their resume with Iowa on Wednesday and Michigan on Sunday. After the NBA's All-Star Weekend, Giannis went to New York to have his wrist examined and we can all let out a huge sigh of relief. The Bucks big man avoided serious damage and suffered what ESPN and The Athletic are reporting as a sprained ligament in his right wrist. Giannis is expected to miss some time, but will be able to return to the court sooner than later. High school boys hoops, McFarlane hosting Turner in a battle of the top two teams in the Rock Valley. Spartans got off to a fast start. Devin Culp spinning and winning for two. McFarlane jumped out to a six point lead. Turner would battle back. Tayshawn Teague Johnson working hard down low for the bucket. That makes it a one point game, but the home team would not be denied tonight. Andrew Kelly all alone in the corner, and he splashes on the triple as McFarland takes down Turner and wins the Rock. 70 62 is your final. And the Wisconsin women taking on Rutgers and Marissa Mosley's squad was feeling it from deep tonight. First quarter, Avery LaBarbera dials one up from distance to double up the Scarlet Knights. She made four triples and finished with 16 points. And then later, it's Julie P for three more. She added in 17 as a team. The Badgers sunk 11 threes. They blow out Rutgers 88 to 62. We're back after this. All you have to do is point. Yes! 1-800-GOT-JUNK can make it disappear. And that's why they all start dancing. Woo. Break up with your junk. Save $41 with the code BREAKUP41. It's Auto Show. The deals start now, and so should you. Get started on your next Ford truck. Like a next generation pickup. Get here for a deal on F-Series. America's best-selling trucks, 46 years straight. It's Auto Show. The deals start now, and so should you. During Auto Show, choose Flex Buy on F-150 with 2.9% APR financing for 66 months, plus 1,000 credit cash and 1,000 Auto Show cash. You've got this. 10 days, two kids, and the open road. Tourist traps, set. Souvenir allowances, dispersed. Juice boxes, abundant. You've got this. Just like Associated Banks got you with access to over 30,000 surcharge free ATMs. So when must see attractions become must pay with cash adventures, we've got you. Mom, why is the front door open? You've got this with Associated Bank. I became an orthopedic surgeon for a lot of reasons. For a lot of reasons. For a lot of reasons. To help you take walks again. To ease your pain. To rebuild your strength. And at every step along the way. We take the time to answer all your questions. We're here because we care. We care about you. 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 They care about me. Sauk Prairie Healthcare Orthopedics. Now offering robotic assisted knee replacement. After violence turned Waukesha's Christmas parade into tragedy, Judge Jennifer Doro ensured justice was served, maintaining order, protecting the rights of victims. Her grace under fire won praise nationally. Now Judge Jennifer Doro is ready to serve on the Supreme Court. 
wife, mother, prosecutor. Judge Doro's life's work is keeping Wisconsin families safe. It's no surprise Judge Doro is law enforcement's choice. The tested judicial leader, Judge Jennifer Doro for Supreme Court. Lean back and save big this winter at the Century House. Right now, save hundreds going from one grade of stressless leather to a superior grade for free. Or save $300 and get a free battery when you purchase any stressless mic or stressless Max motorized recliner or any stressless classic power recliner. Don't miss out. Shop the Century House, 3420 University Avenue in Madison. All you have to do is point. Yes! 1-800-GOT-JUNK can make it disappear. And that's why they all start dancing. Woo. Break up with your junk. Save $41 with the code BREAKUP41. Charlotte Deleste's personal battle with concussion, Thursday at 10. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Finally tonight, not only is tomorrow Election Day here in Wisconsin, it is also Fat Tuesday. The day is most closely associated with Mardi Gras. In modern times, Fat Tuesday is the last day to revel in food and drink before Ash Wednesday, which marks the beginning of Lent. But the actual roots of Mardi Gras date back much further. The ancient Romans had a similar celebration around the same time to honor some of their deities. Gary, we better load up on some food. I was, I was just going to say, you know, that uh, we'll load up in the weather office because we'll need it for the next Might couple of days. I'll, I'll bring in the punch keys tomorrow. Well, that, um, something to look forward okay. to anyway. Well, let's start out by taking a look at current temperatures. They're still pretty mild. The uh, cold front just coming through now. 38 Madison, 38 Middleton, 37 degrees in McFarland. Across the rest of southern Wisconsin, notice it is starting to turn colder just to the north and west. 34 in La Crosse. Temperatures are in the 20s just west of there, but we have that major winter storm on the way from Tuesday night through Wednesday and into Thursday for a variety of weather conditions. Snow, sleet, freezing rain, heaviest snow north of the Dells, heaviest ice accumulation south of Dane County, Madison, Dane County in the middle, probably some of both. Uh, right now, winter storm watch is in effect north of the Dells and also west of Lone Rock uh, for uh, anywhere from tomorrow evening all the way through uh, Thursday evening. So, again, we're going to keep a very close eye on this situation. Kelly Slifka will have updates in the morning. All right, Gary, thanks. And thanks for joining us for News 3 Now at 10. Do something good, everyone, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.